Welcome to this short tutorial on how to remix in Masterpiece VR. Remixing is the art of bringing in assets from outside the program. These assets can be downloaded online by searching for kit bash sets. You can make your own stamps in Masterpiece VR, or you can import assets from another program. In Masterpiece VR, there are several ways to get these assets into the program. Today we'll be covering the stamp function that you find under the create menu. If you push the load button, you'll see your stamps folder, which is usually located in the documents folder of your computer. You should put your downloaded assets into this folder. I've made a collection of a few stamps in Masterpiece VR for this tutorial. I exported them one by one and optimized them outside of VR to keep the polygon count as low as possible. This can be done in most 3D packages, including Blender, which you'll find for free online. Once your mesh is loaded in, you're free to stamp away. By default, you'll be pasting as mesh, but you can easily switch to clay or clay hollow. Using the select menu, you can go in and reposition your meshes. Under the edit category, you'll also be able to easily switch between clay and mesh. This can be useful if you want to edit your meshes in Masterpiece VR. By using the tool guides, you can sculpt with mirror on. Angle snap lets you control the angle of your mesh. You can use grids to precisely position your mesh, like you see me doing here. Here's an example of me converting a mesh to sculptable clay. Now. Let's switch to time-lapse mode and see what can be done in just a few minutes using this technique. For this particular piece, I use a combination of freehand sculpting and sculpting using the guides. Keeping your stamp collection as low poly as possible is important for a detailed model such as this one. Once I'm happy with the model, I export it as an OBJ file and import it into Blender for a quick render. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you use the Remix functionality in Masterpiece VR.